yeah, I had quite a unique journey to becoming a farmer. I didn't grow up in agriculture. Um, and so I guess part of what is interesting in my backstory of becoming a farmer is that I bring a little bit of a different perspective. Um, and I think part of that different perspective also comes from being female um, and being a women-known organisation, we tend to have a bit of a different slant on things or see things a little bit differently than maybe how traditional agricultural leaders have seen farming and seen the role that business plays in farming um, and seen sort of the importance of customer relationships and marketing and the other parts of farming that are just as important as growing the things when it comes to having a, you know, a profitable and long Jeopardy within the farm, I suppose. My background, I'm actually an engineer and a scientist, <laughs> uh, but then I worked in a non-profit, international non-profit for a decade. So you have to wear a lot of different hats and do a lot with a little, and uh, that is quite similar to farming. farming. Yes. <laughs> so I did end up in a business development and marketing um, as a business development and marketing director of that non-profit. And so those skills have been useful. So I was already married to Ben Schilling, who is Abby's husband's brother. We obviously knew Mark and Abby well uh, and knew of the farms. And I'd actually worked for Abby yes, at, um, at farmer's markets back when we lived in Chicago, you know, whenever she needed a fill in and things like that. Um, and then my husband and I continued our careers elsewhere and we were in Canada um, when Abby and Mark called us and said, please come home and farm. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. So my transition into the farming side of things was certainly um, taking a big leap of faith, but with confidence in Abby and also Mark, uh, that we would work well together and that we'd make a good team and would enjoy the process. So we're in our seventh year. Mm -hmm. I've found in agriculture that mm -hmm. as soon as you prove that you have something valid to say, it actually matters not whether you are female or of any other, you know, background or whatever, as long as you have something valid to say and you yeah. put out a good product, that you respect the people you're working with and those that work for you. It's been a very enjoyable experience. And as Abby said, we try to lead by example. We try to educate not only our own children, but the other kids around us. We work with local schools and stuff and make sure that they come out mm -hmm. and understand what it is for small business, for women-owned business, and, and how we work hard and succeed by working hard and trying hard and trying new things and mm -hmm. being okay with maybe failing sometimes. <laughs>